Hi, in this video we're going to show you a nice tool you could use to install various packages within Windows. So if you've ever used things like a Chalkity or Winget to find and install Windows tools, you know, created by other people or even created by Microsoft and other big companies, uh, there is a GUI you can now use instead of the command line. So it's called UniGet UI, formerly Winget UI. So once you download and install it, you just run it. And you have your options here. You have some software updates that'll happen once in a while. Uh, you could view your installed packages. we will have a little blue arrow there for the ones that you have installed on the computer. You have a package bundle section here and you have some settings. So preferences to automatically update the app, user interface, show in the system tray, notification preferences, startup options, Backup installed packages, administrator preferences. Then you have some package managers here. So these are the ones it supports. Winget Scoop, Schlockity NPM, pip.net, PowerShell 5, and then PowerShell 7 beta. So you can turn these on and off as needed. Then there's a more section here if you want to see, you know, the log and so on, operation history. All right, so how it works, you just go to discover packages and you do a search. So let's say, let's search for Windows 11, see what's around for that. Okay, so you can see I was playing with this one here, so that's already installed. And here are the sources that are available for these packages here, so you could uncheck ones you don't want to use. So it looks like these are all a Winget. And you have some filters if you want to apply those. And the search mode, you could change that as well. And if you want to install one, you could double click on it to see information. Sometimes they'll have a screenshot, sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll have a web page link, sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll have a description, sometimes they won't. So if you don't know what it is and there is no uh, web page to go check out, you maybe you might want to skip it rather than taking a chance on installing something you don't want on your computer. All right, so if you want to install it, just click on install. So here's what it's going to use, the winget command. And then you have some installation options. The default architecture. Latest version by default. Installation scope. Then some custom arguments. All right, so we'll click on install. Okay, it says it was installed. So here's our new app right here, Notes for Windows 11. And then you can take it from there. And let's say we change this to Windows 10, for example. As you can see, I have this one notepad for Windows 10 that I was playing with. So there's a few more packages here for Windows 10. Oh, so these are Microsoft packages, driver kits, and update assistance. All right, let's try Google, for example. All right, so several things for Google. You can see it knows that I have Google Chrome installed and Google Drive installed. All right, so now let's try installing two at a time here. So let's do the Google Calendar and Google Assistant. You could also add these to the bundle. You could share them, installation options. You could do an interactive installation, skip integrity checks, and install as administrator. All right, so we'll install both these here. And this one here actually looks like I checked it on accident, so I'm going to cancel this one before it installs. Okay, Google Assistant is installed, working on Google Calendar. Okay, so now that they're installed, all right, then if I go to Installed Packages, you can see that they show up here now. All right, so there is your basic overview of UniGet UI. So like I said, if you're used to uh, using these repositories to install various uh, apps within Windows, this is a nice way to just kind of use them all at the same place and do searches for them as well. But like I was saying, you know, like this one has a link to the homepage where you could actually check it out for more information. 
but no screenshots. So it's always a good idea just to see what you're installing before you actually install it. So I'll put a link in the description where you can download Uniget UI and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.